I'm Shin Bo Mi, and I am a senior community and part of me. I'm a senior transportation engineer at Evansville MPO. Uh, we cover two counties on the Indiana side and uh, one county on the Kentucky side uh, across the Ohio River. And uh, we are a medium-sized MPO with a population just over 200,000. We have a subscription for nine months, and uh, we have been using it uh, for a variety of purposes. And I will touch on each of them briefly on this slide, and I will focus more on the usage in travel demand modeling in the next few slides. So this map shows a home location study for uh, the travelers using the uh, US 41 Ohio River uh, crossing bridge. Um, so this one shows the home location, and you, as you can see on the map, there are, uh, the majority of them are living on the left-hand side of the um, the map at uh, the river, uh, which is the Kentucky side, uh, much more than on the other side, you know, on the Indiana side. So this one uh, shows a quick example of uh, the top routes, and that is to a major hospital in our region. Uh, so you can see where those travelers are coming from. So for all the analysis we have done, uh, I have mentioned above, we did all of them in-house, which indicating that uh, the tree light data platform is, is pretty handy to use. Number one is to obtain the origin destination matrices for external trips. And number two is to get um, OD matrices for truck trips. First, we uploaded the zone, uh, zone systems or uh, zone layers to the platform, uh, including the internal zones and external zones. And then we specify some parameters to let the platform run the analysis for us. And then once it started to run, we it is run on, ser on the server, so we it does not take any resources in our local computer. So we can do anything else until it is finished. So once it is finished, it gives us, us the, a, a nice visualization. It is not necessary for the modeling purpose, but uh, it is nice to have. So basically, this one shows uh, where those external ships are going to, to the internal, in, uh, internal zones. Uh, in a 3D uh, distribution, so it's a really nice map, and also it can it is customizable. You can actually select your um, customized origin destination uh, combination in this visualization to see the specific zones. We downloaded the data, and uh, the data is in the CSV format, which is a uh, fairly uh, uh, easy, uh, easy to use based on the resource we have and our goal to make our model more efficient, um, customizable, maintainable, and sustainable in the long run. We found it uh, a preferred way to to use the big data to in our um, uh, travel demand modeling practice this way.